Hi everyone, welcome to the studio on the cliffs in the far north of Scotland. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration today in how to um, create clouds um, in your moody skies. This painting was started in an online uh, live painting class and um, it was completed in an hour and a half but what I always say to attendees and students is once we finished uh, in the class that you, they can then go and tweak and play and add um, as much detail as they want to or they may just want to uh, take the painting as it is as a like a little exercise in uh, practicing painting so uh, let me just so show you what I'm going to do to now enhance the scene I'm looking at the sky how it's all moody I'm, I actually really like the sky I like all the moodiness but I'm just seeing that it's not blended there's actually this strip of yellow which may be not realistic so I'm just going to bring some clouds down into this yellow strip um, so bear with me so the colors we've got on the palette are um, I was using a dark blue, so it's ultramarine. These are all acrylic, so we've got ultramarine, a burnt umber, so that's the dark brown, and I'm using titanium white, and I've just mixed a little area here, so it's made this like dirty blue, which I actually wanted a little bit more blue than the sky uh, that we've got already. So I'm just gonna bring out now some blue tones through, bring them down into that yellow strip. So the brush that I'm using is this one. It's a number one, um, but again, as I always say, it depends what size canvas you're using, this is a brush that I'm using it's a round brush and I've just dipped the brush in the water just to loosen up this paint and get it more fluid and now I'm just gonna now play with some of the cloud and bring it down do you see how light my brush is and how um, I'm letting the brush do the work right so there is no rigidity when you are painting clouds it's just be very fluid and let the brush do the work you don't draw in and out i don't draw in you may want to but i do not draw in an outline of a cloud say this is a cloud and then color it in i just let the brush do what it needs to do so i'm bringing some of this down into that yellow do you see i'm on the side of the brush and I'm bringing it and i've just now added more water to the brush and I'm bringing it down to the sea and just li literally being really sketchy okay so I'm going to bring it over that yellow joy of acrylics is that they dry quickly so you can come over the top of what you've created already okay if that were wet it wouldn't work so well the joy of acrylics is that they're so dry that you can layer up really quickly this is acrylics for you. Okay, so hopefully you can see that now that we're just edging out the yellow, making it less blocky. All right. And what I would do then is I'm going to bring some of that blue through the sky, bring out some lovely blue tones up here. So again, same technique, just using what I've done already and start building these blue tones through the sky and I will just keep going let the brush do the work being guided all the time so what I'm going to do is then carry on down on this side too and I'm probably then going to bring out this lovely blue tone this light blue tone through the snow and start playing with the contrast between the blue the cool tones through the snow which you will get in, um, in a winter scene you'll get all these warm you'll get the warm and you'll get the cool tones running through it's great right snow is not literally white you can just incorporate all the different colors and make your painting pop by using the warm and the cool tones through it okay i think that's it for today's little tip bit for you so yeah i hope you're well and uh, keep looking for that light see you next time